Heather, at this rate, it's shaping up to be a good night to stay in and watch a movie. <laughs> it is. Parents got to get creative through the long weekend with all the rain that we're expecting. Now, these storms today, they're really efficient rainmakers, so they are putting down some really quick rainfall in a short amount of time. Take a look at this picture that was sent to us from the White House community. See that lightning bolt that came down. You know, even though I'm worried about heavy rain and the possibility of some localized flooding, it's that right there, the lightning that you see that is going to be the big concern with any outdoor plans that you have. It can make things not safe. So if you don't already have it on your phone, go ahead and grab it, download it. It is completely free on the App Store and on Google Play. It will serve you well if you have anything going on outdoors through the weekend. Here is the problem. We have an area of low pressure that is very close to us, and this is going to be a very stagnant weather pattern for the next several days. We've got a lot of moisture to work with, and that is going to cause showers and thunderstorms each afternoon. We do have a couple of warnings that I want to talk to you about. First one is in portions of southern Kentucky. This is Logan, Simpson and Warren counties. This goes until 645 tonight. Also close to the metro area, including Davidson County, Cheatham and Robertson County. This flash flood warning goes until 715 for tonight. We have seen a lot of rainfall here within the last six hours or so. The two main spots that I'm concerned with southern Robertson County. This is around the Greenbrier area and then down towards Centerville there in Hickman County. This spot has also seen over three inches of rain here in a very short amount of time. Now where we don't have active warnings in place, there are other advisories out for parts of Stewart County there in Hickman County as well. We just haven't seen enough rain there for them to up it to a flash flood warning, but would not be surprised if we had some high water in those areas as well. Here's our power of five radars. The good news is where we do have these two warnings. It's starting to dry out just a touch. We still have pretty steady rainfall in southern Kentucky around Portland back towards Gallatin, but it's starting to become less heavy than what we've seen the last couple of hours. So that's good news. The bad news is just south of that. We've got some redevelopment of these storms around Columbia, another spot that doesn't need any more rainfall. This area right here. It's all over six inches of rain just in the overnight period. This stretches up into northern portions of Rutherford County and back into the Wilson County area too. That's somewhat drifting northward, so there is a bit of a concern for the Nashville SC game. Of course, the Vanderbilt game that's going on that we could have some storms in the area that could cause a lightning delay. If you are headed out to Geodis Park, 75 degrees at kickoff there. Here is exact track for the rest of your night. Notice that this model does keep a few storms around potentially into the overnight as well. So especially towards the plateau, you could have some rumbles of thunder early on Sunday. If the kids, if the pets, they don't like the loud rumbles overnight, you may have a long one in store. We are also going to see more of these scattered showers and storms redeveloping as we get into the afternoon. So for the lake forecast tomorrow, not as hot as what we've been experiencing. Temperatures will generally stay in the lower 80s, but you will have widespread storms to deal with each afternoon, spotty storms during the overnight period, really all the way through Monday and your Labor Day holiday. As we head back to work, even for the rest of the week, this pattern continues. Wet weather with temperatures in the 80s will be the theme into next week weekend.